You want to be a good parent, don't you? I thought so. That's why I'm going to teach you five ways on how to raise a non-gender child. Hi, I'm with the Socialist Federation Against America. Now, you as a caring parent know the last thing your child needs is structure and guidance, especially when it comes to objective reality. Kind of like how your child's body would be much better off if they didn't have the structure of their pesky skeletal system. So let's do that to their psychology with these Federation approved five ways to raise a non-gender child. Never throw gender reveal parties. Gender reveal parties are done all wrong nowadays. After 12 weeks, parents can just find out the gender of a baby via medical tests, and then they do a gender reveal party. Mm. That is nothing but pure hate rooted in biology. Now, if you wanna be a good parent, then the correct time to throw a gender reveal party is when your child is somewhere between 10 and 20 years old. Okay, Persimmons, what are you? I'm a dolphin. All right, someone get that dolphin some water. It's got a bright future with all this guidance for giving it. Keep your child illiterate. Literacy and illiteracy is unfortunately a binary concept that negatively influences your child to think that binary realities are realities. In addition, if you allowed your child to just read, then they're susceptible to getting their hands on textbooks and other great works of literature that speaks to the existence of actual men and women. This type of biological propaganda will lead your child down a dark path where they discover their biological gender rather than creating the gender of their choosing. Hmm, let's see here. I'm just gonna go burn these for you. Heavily emphasize imagination. When your bigoted binary parents were raising you, they probably taught you to use your imagination from time to time, but to believe the reality that your eyes were seeing in front of you. This is just an old outdated paradigm and I am sincerely sorry you were subjected to it but we have to reverse this paradigm in order for you to be the kind of parent you wanna be. So teach your child to use their imagination and to believe that what they're making up is real. As you do this, further educate them that what they see in front of them is the made up world. That way, when they make believe what gender they are, they'll believe that what they imagine is real. Reality should always be based on imagination. See all those trees over there? They're not really there. Subscribe to the Disney Channel. This kind of speaks for itself, doesn't it? Kids, come on, we're late for the Disney drag show. I can't wait to see what Mickey the Molesting Mouse and Donald the Dickless Duck have to teach you about yourselves. Let them try all genders. Just like how normal parents will expose their children to a variety of different hobbies to see which ones the children like, Good parents should do the same thing with genders. To do this properly, we at the Socialist Federation Against America recommend the following schedule. Let's say you're a birthing person, which by the way, why are you so against abortion? And you have what the bigoted doctors call a male child. So from zero to two years old, you'll wanna put your male child on hormonal therapy to be a female. This is great because your child's delicate physiology will have a much better time of being helpless against all the unnatural estrogen hormones they're being injected with. Then from the period of two to four years old, you'll want to reverse course, my marker ran out, and do a couple years of male hormone therapy. Now at this point, your child was born a male and then transitioned to female and then transitioned, not back to male, but transitioned forward to a different kind of male. And at this point, they might think they're ready to make up their mind about their gender because they're four and they have a well-formed brain, but they're not quite ready. Because you're just getting started, there's another 73 genders for them to explore. You wanna keep progressing them forward via two year periods of hormonal therapy to the other genders, like two-spirit, suplex sexual, Tyrannosaurus transrex, Tiger King, Stockholm Syndrome, Non-Conforming Accountant, Celiac, WNBA, and all the other endangered genders. After decades of letting them physiologically sample all the genders, they should be psychologically damaged enough to be a healthy individual with a solid enough sense of self to finally make their decision. With these five methods on how to raise a non-gendered child, you no longer have to worry about your child being exposed to values, structure, or parenting that would allow them to grow to be an empowered adult. Because these methods will indoctrinate your children into the good reptilian hands that will help us with our agenda to create a more compliant, less resilient America. From all of us at the Socialist Federation Against America, thank you for doing this to your children.